I don't go out because I don't have the funds to go out. It's, you know, sitting down and sort of working out what can I do without um, in order to keep things going. It's your heating, your eating, your showers or food. All right, lovely. Thanks a lot then, we'll speak soon. Take care. Bye-bye. A single parent working part-time, Melanie has always struggled to make ends meet, but it's never been as hard as this. I've had a really tight budget anyway prior to sort of Covid, I suppose, really. It's been tighter and tighter. So subsequently, something like the cost of living um, crisis that's happened, or I like to call it the cost of survival, really. It's not a cost of living, it's, it's just getting by. <laughs> How cringe am I? <laughs> Very. She's lived in this flat with her son for a decade, but the landlord wants it back. Here in Surrey, one of the UK's richest counties, she's unable to find a two-bed for less than £1,600 a month. I've tried so hard to, to get myself back into the earning levels that I was in pre-having children, and it's constantly um, affecting my own self-esteem, my own self-worth, my own confidence. And I think government need to really look at how much does someone need to live. It's not good enough to say, oh, well, well, we haven't got any housing stock. You're going to have to find the difference. I'm working and trying to better myself, but I can't. There's this sort of invisible barrier. Melanie's, like so many other households, is at risk of what the Joseph Roundtree Foundation call very deep poverty. Its latest report revealing how many people have to live on incomes far below the average once their housing costs are removed. Households defined as being in relative poverty have less than 60% of the median income. The report found that for a single parent with two young children, that's £294 a week to live on. For a single person, it's £174. 14 million people are in this bracket, more than 6 million of them, though, in very deep poverty. Now, that's less than 40% of the median income. So for a single parent with two young children, that's less than £196 a week to live on. For a single person, it's £116. The level of very deep poverty in the UK has been rising and what that means is that more and more people are moving further and further away from the poverty line and we find that around 6 million people on average would need to double their income just to meet the poverty line and that should shock us. What we've also seen is that over the last 20 years, over consecutive governments, over six different Prime Ministers, we still haven't seen a sustained fall in poverty in the UK. The government says it will have spent £104 billion on cost of living measures between 2022 and 25, and said it was breaking down barriers to work. But with so many already in work struggling to get by, there are more immediate barriers in the everyday.